So Virgin Atlantic has just become the world's most inclusive airline out there with some major changes that they have now made. But there's questions that still need to be answered. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask those questions. Maybe someone can give me an answer about it. Look, we'll get into it here, guys, in less than 10 seconds. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important. Also, you please share the video. Help us get around the algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, but with the glasses because I'm blind. And as always, guys, if you could help donate here to my ministry, help support what I do. See more info in the description. All right, let's talk about this change. Virgin Atlantic, they're, uh, they're going all out for this. They really want to be known as the world's most inclusive airlines. So what changes are being made here? Well, for starters, the uniforms. Previously, the female flight attendants had to wear the red uniforms. And the male flight attendants had to wear the burgundy uniforms. That's no longer the case. Either one can wear whichever color that they want. Not only that, but women now have the option to wear trousers if they prefer. And this is the one that was really, you know, really got me. They are encouraging the male pilots to wear skirts. That's right. You see, they want their employees to feel comfortable when they come to work. They want them to be able to identify as their true self. And well, no better way to do that and reflect that than by what you're wearing. So imagine that. You're getting ready to board a plane here, Virgin Atlantic Airlines. You're getting out of the plane. You say hi to the pilot. The pilot's wearing a skirt. And you're saying to yourself, is it too late for me to get off this thing? But maybe it'll be okay. And I got more to say on that in a second. Because again, there's some questions to ask here. First, guys, let me put a quick plug in for my Patreon here. I got to do this. You know, I get no monetization on this channel. YT doesn't support me. Not surprising based off what I talk about. But you guys can definitely help. You enjoy what I do here. Here's the thing too. If you only watch these videos through YT Alerts, you miss a ton of content. They don't like sending out notifications for what I do. So what you can do, sign up on Patreon. Again, just five bucks a month. When you do, never miss an alert. Not only that, but you can leave comments over there completely censorship free. YT blocks and removes a lot of what you guys are saying. So you can avoid that all if you sign up on Patreon. Plus, you can also send me direct messages there. And hey, if you guys prefer to do donate through PayPal, you can do that as well. All those links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So what else we got going on here? Well, the employees are also going to be wearing pronoun badges. That's right. So you now, as the customer, can know how to properly address the flight crew by calling them the pronoun that they prefer that you use. So they're gonna be having the pronoun badges. And here's the other thing too, it's not just for the staff, it's for you too. Because you see, the pronoun badges are gonna be made available even for the customers. Optional, but still it will be made available. Look, here's my thing. Okay, if I'm getting on one of these planes, I, I don't even like wearing those name badges, like when you go out to those you know, certain events or get together is what, whatever, you know, and it's, it's the, hi, my name is so-and-so. You guys know the badges I'm talking about, right? I don't even like wearing those because I don't want people to know who I am. I'm a very quiet person. Okay. I don't like to, you know, really mix and mingle and I don't like to talk to people too much. It's just some kind of a shy individual a little bit. I kind of keep to myself. I don't really like big crowds and that sort of thing. So I don't even like wearing those name tags. So the last thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is put on a pronoun badge <laughs> where I'm going out to a plane, okay? And let me hear, so this is another question I have. Because I told you, I got questions. If I were to go on this plane, look, here's the first thing. Do, do I gotta wear a mask? Because that, was, <laughs> that wasn't actually asked or answered anywhere in this story. Do I gotta wear a mask or do I gotta show proof of the pinchy? 
You know, if I don't have to do either of those, I mean, I guess if the if the prices are cheap, I, I could technically fly Virgin Atlantic, I guess. You know, as long as I don't got to do any of that. Now, here's the thing. I hate flying. And I avoid it at all costs. Like, I've been on a plane in like 10 years. And I have no plans to ever get on one again unless I absolutely had to. Because uh, I just, I can't deal with it. I just, all just all this stuff, just it's just a nuisance. But hey, I mean, if you don't got to wear the mask and the, you don't got to show the pinchy pass, then hey, <laughs> maybe. But look, what, what what's a blind guy to do? If I'm sitting there on the plane and I got a flight attendant come by and they say, excuse me, sir, can you get you anything? And, you know, I say, oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm good, ma'am. Thank you. But, you know, her pronoun tag said, you know, that he, him, they, they, I, and if I don't, no, no, if I, if I use the wrong pronoun, do I get in trouble? It's not my fault. I can't see the badge. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Look, maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe I shouldn't actually uh, take a flight with Virgin Atlantic. Oh, oh, I don't know. Do they protect me? They talk about being inclusive though. Are they going to be inclusive of people who are blind or not? I don't know. Look, these are, they didn't answer any of these questions for me. It's terrible. And the other thing they're doing here, they're teaming up with <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race and a couple of people on their team uh, to promote the changes here made to the airlines. So that's a nice combination, right? Passengers can also now register under whatever pronoun they want when they go to sign up for the flight and they can do the MX deal, all this. This is what we're championing now. Look, I was trying to have a little bit of fun with this. We're going to do that every now and then. It's not like we're on the brink of, uh, you know, World War III or anything. World's most inclusive airline. Okay. Okay. Guys, seriously. Things are getting dark in this world. And we're running out of time. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. There's a world out there full of darkness, people who are unwilling to repent, unwilling to turn their life to Christ. It doesn't have to be that way, though, especially for you. If you're watching this video right now. If you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ into their life, well, something I do in all my videos here is I give people the chance to give their life to Christ and accept him as their Lord and Savior. If that's you, I'd like to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That's something that we all are, but the good news is this. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then you just jump right back in your old ways. No. It means to turn from lifestyles or habits, anything in your life that goes against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he wipes your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below, guys. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk. With you soon.